So, Jan, what do you think about this year's CVPR? It's been great. The obvious thing to change, a lot more people are coming to CVPR, a lot more researchers, a lot more research is being published. Yeah, the, the field has changed quite a bit. I feel like almost all the papers that I saw this year were based on deep learning. There were a couple of the most papers really do use deep learning. And it's made a difference, right? There's a lot of things that were really difficult you know, five years ago. But nowadays, yeah, of course, you, you can solve them. There's solutions for them to work. Yeah. I really like this paper um, that was doing an autoencoder to find landmarks in objects, that the landmarks should be invariant to the translations and so forth that you could put an image through. And you can use right. that to automatically discover what those key points are of different objects. And then right. having those landmarks there, obviously, we can use, the, use that for a lot of other stuff. Right. I also like the Fasconomy paper that won oh, the Best yeah. Paper Award. But it's a, it's a similar bend um, where you look at what if I solve many tasks at once? Do they help each other? And if they do, can I, as a result, use less training data, which is, you know, which is showed as the case. There's a really cool paper from Facebook on question answering and sort of right. iterative question answering to learn about uh, an environment and sort of the universe. Uh, I thought that was really cool because it, not only was it not just about vision, it was also about text, but it was also right. about this existential question of how do we learn? You know, like what does it mean for somebody to understand the world? And how do we teach an agent about that? Many problems that we st struggled with you know, four or five years ago, now with deep learning, there's a lot of great solutions to classical problems. So it's really great. And of course, this year, there was a gazillion GANs, which was pretty awesome. I mean, so, there were yeah. some, some new kinds of new flavors of GAN that I thought were cool. It is really amazing. I remember when I was a grad student, the kinds of problems that we were working on you know, 10 years ago, and they were all like baby step problems right. compared with what we're doing today. Uh, right. it, it's just really shocking to see the progress. Right. Yeah, luckily we live in an era where you know, through the internet we have lots of data that's accessible to lots of researchers who can use it you know, to, to make progress. And of course, you know, lots of GPUs available to people you know, to have the yeah. appropriate compute power to make this progress. I'm excited about sort of this transition between um, vision for single frames and vision for videos. It takes a lot more compute power to do that. Um, I still, I still think we have a lot of ways to go. Like when we look at most of the segmentation stuff that people are doing, it's still frame by frame. And it's very interesting to see this combination of different modalities and how they either help each other or, or you, know, you want to infer something from one you know, to the other, like text and images or text and videos. Um, I feel like there's, you know, we're, we've opened this new vista of things we can try, but we've still got a lot to do.